Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today I'm gonna be trying some spooky VFX Halloween makeup by 5 Minute Crafts on my emo friends. Let's see what we're doing first. Okay guys, so our first volunteer is Johnny Gilbert. Are you ready to have your neck sliced open? Honestly, yeah. With makeup, with oh. makeup I mean. So the first thing we're gonna need is some liquid latex. A boo bitty boo Then we uh, carefully apply the liquid latex to Johnny's neck. And then we grab some tissues. Then we carefully rip these bad boys apart. We only need a single ply. And just carefully just apply this to his neck. Add the next layer of tissue. And then we just kind of keep repeating that process until we have something thick enough. So the latex is now nice and dry. We're gonna go ahead and cover it up with some foundation. Where's this concealer? I don't know, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm a craft guru, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and blend it in. This is looking pretty good. It's a little wrinkly for my taste, but you know what? Not bad. Add a little bit of finishing powder. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of the setting spray. Now I'm gonna go in and be really careful and start cutting Are it. Are you ready for the first incision, Johnny? I'm a little scared. Uh, just don't move. So scared. That's not skin, right? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> Yikes, I'm scared. I ended up using a fork because using scissors seemed really scary for this part. There we go! We did it! And so now you have your regular mouth and you have your neck mouth. Hello! I'm Johnny Gilbert! Why does it sound like Toby? Yeah, Robbie! Why does it sound like Toby? Uh, I don't know, Toby. Uh, Get out of here! So now we're gonna go ahead and color it in a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do some black inside of here. The trick to really selling blood is to putting a little bit of black in there and really just texturizing everything a little bit. Add some more bloody red inside. For this, I'm just using kind of like this uh, cheap palette from Amazon. I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of latex up here like that. And then I'm gonna push it together to help kind of hold the latex up. I'm gonna pull this little flappity flap back up a little bit. That looks crazy. That looks scabby. And now we're gonna add some thick Blood. Just really add all the finishing touches. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. That looks really cool, that actually. It looks really sick, dude. Does it look realistic? The makeup's not completely accurate, like with the skin color, but besides that, this looks very gross. Here, you want to show some of the boys? Let's go show some of these boys. But before we do that, I'm adding a little bit of makeup and fake blood to this act. Just to really sell it, you know? Perfect. Okay, guys, this is the Johnny slid open his neck prank. Let's do this. Oh my god, guys! Me and Johnny were playing with my axe, yeah. and I accidentally sliced open his neck! Ah! Just kidding, guys. This whole thing was a prank. Whoa. What? This is video effects. This is my own personal makeup. None of this is even real. Do you think it would look better on you? No. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one actually works. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Guys, you've seen this guest before. My roommate, Hey Jordan! Oh, we're roommates. We've been roommates for about six months now, but now I'm gonna be doing your makeup. Thanks for volunteering for this. It's definitely not a prank. <laughs> I believe that 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Chris, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put your hair up. I know your hair, Jordan, but you're gonna be bald, Jordan, right? Oh, no! Bald Jordan, dang it. My arch nemesis. Whoa! We're all good to go. Yeah! <laughs> Step to this is I'm gonna have to add some liquid latex to exactly half your face. Add the liquid latex yes. to your face. Dude, I love liquid latex. Okay, then apparently we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves some oatmeal. I'm not sure how they expect me to do this. Let's clean your head back a little bit. Now we're gonna carefully add. Oh, that's not sticking at all. <laughs> I feel like push it on. Dude, did you wait too long? Did it dry already? I think it might have dried. It feels dry. It dried in the time it took me to explain what I was gonna do. You're right, this does smell. It's so not good. Oh, that, that's working so much better. Mm, good. And here, Jordan, I wouldn't worry about the mess because the intern is gonna be here tomorrow to clean all this up, so. Love that guy. This smells so bad. Mm. I know, I'm really sorry. Chris, you are putting a lot of trust in me and I oh. actually really appreciate that. Okay, try opening your eye. Oh, it's a, is it open? You can see, right? Honestly, I think you glued my eye shut. But this is better. This is as good as it's gonna get, bro. Then I'm gonna go in and grab some scar wax. Woo! 
Ha, <laughs> boobity boo. There we go. I don't really get the whole point of the scar wax, but I guess it looks okay. So now I have to try and cover all this oatmeal in green paint without knocking it off. I'm gonna try my best, but I don't know how well this is gonna, I think I'm gonna use different paint. Oh, that's nice. That's like a mossy green. Yeah. This looks more like what we're going for too. It's perfect. Dude, this feels so weird. I bet. You have oatmeal and latex and green weird paint this, on your face. This is what I imagine a lizard feels like with like a bunch of scales, <laughs> like armor, you know what I mean? Like lizards that have armor. I could totally see that. Should use frosting, that way I could eat it if it gets in my mouth. Oh my god, 100% <laughs> edible makeup! I should have done that! Take her face! So yeah, this is looking pretty crazy right now. And on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and add this stitch. And I'm not talking about Lilo and Stitch. This looks like a good spot to really just put a bunch of latex on Chris's face. I think he's really enjoying this latex all over his face, and I can really tell. <laughs> Maybe I should have put it on the actual stitch and not his face. You know, poor kid, no los dos. Now we're gonna carefully apply it to Chris's face. There we go. Oh yes. Wow. It's looking pretty good. This blends into your face perfectly and no one will ever tell the difference in the different colors of your skin. You're welcome. Just kidding, I'm gonna put some concealer on this. I'm just gonna get some foundation that I don't actually have. Yeah, that's not gonna work. This is what I do. I just cake it all on my face. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a while. Just rest you. Just rest your eyes, rest your soul. <laughs> 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 Let's do a little bit of blending. Maybe that'll help. This is the good stuff right there. Oh, that is the wrong color. Uh, you know, it's okay. There we go. Oh no, I got it on your shirt. I'm sorry. It's okay. So I just figure if I put it on the rest of your face, maybe it'll just completely blend in. I'll redo all your makeup when I'm done. Okay. You guys are about to see what Chris looks like. Just a plain face with no makeup at all. This is his everyday beauty look. Guys, if you like this makeup, make sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. It looks something like this and you can find it right down there. If you guys want me to do more makeup videos, let me know down in the comments down below. And I might actually just do them. And I'm just gonna blend it all in. Hopefully this looks fine. What do you guys think? Am I the next James Charles or what? I don't know about that. <laughs> You're pretty good though. Then we're gonna add a little bit of blood to the initial wound. Like you just sewed it up yourself. Now we're gonna go in and add a little bit of fake blood. Very carefully. With the tiniest little brush. You understand? Just really get it right inside your gash wound. Your human side is a little bit broken. And then we have the true self that you perceive yourself to be. I'm gonna add a little bit of setting spray just to really that's everything into place. So now we're gonna add some of this purple slime onto the green part of his face. What did you say, Robbie? Oh, oh gosh. Ah, yeah, I ruined my shirt. Just let me just okay. really just get it all over your face. Ooh. This is gonna feel really mm -hmm. strange for a moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is an experience, dude. You need to experience this sometime. Okay, okay. so now that mm -hmm. we have slime absolutely everywhere, mm -hmm. all over my hands, all over the camera, all over Hair Jordan, I think it's time for you to put your hair down okay. and really just immerse yourself in the swamp monsterness. Okay. Oh. oh, yes. Super Saiyan. Oh my god, he's super ah. it's super Saiyan. It's in my mouth. Can you get it out? Oh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, this looks really cool. Okay, so now we can completely see your face and you look absolutely horrid. But this turned out absolutely fantastic. I really like the slime monster creature with the gash on your face. You have your human side and you have your swamp monster side and it looks absolutely fantastic. But let's see what everyone thinks about Chris's new look. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna have Chris go hide in the closet and I'm gonna have everyone come in and he's gonna scare everyone. You ready for this, buddy? Yeah. Okay, get in the closet. Oh, oh my gosh, everyone come in! Guys, I can't find Hair Jordan anywhere. Have you seen him? Where's Hair Jordan? I haven't seen him all day. This isn't a swamp monster, uh, it's, it's Hair it's Jordan! Me. It's just me, it was a prank all along. It was Hair Jordan the entire time. Why does he look so gross? What did you do to him? I gave him epic swamp monster makeup and doesn't it look absolutely fantastic? It's pretty good, pretty scary. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Yay, this is a good one. So up 
next, we have my friend Ren. I'm gonna be turning her into Horline. I don't really know what this is supposed to be, but it's like a blue-haired rag doll. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually give her some contacts. Uncle Bitty Boop, there we go. And now she has hitch black eyes. The next thing we're doing is adding some blush. Got my fancy blush brush here. It's specially made just for makeup and only makeup. Okay, I did a really bad job on the blush. I think I need a different blush brush. Here we go, this one doesn't even have a handle. Oh, perfect. That was solid, I am so sorry. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, oh, blend it better. out. Blend it out a little bit. The next thing we have to do is add freckles. I don't have any mascara, but I have this face paint and a little fork. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip the fork right in the makeup and just hope that this works. It's kind of working. You have very straight lines on your face now. I think I'm gonna have to use this for freckles in the future. Fork method. You know, Ariel uses it to comb her hair, and we're using it to apply freckles. It's a multi-use tool right there. And I feel like I need to blend this in a little bit. No, that was not the move. That was definitely not the move. It's staying like that. You just have extra dark freckles. It looks great. I missed blush on the nose. I definitely went way overboard with the freckles, but that's okay. It's a good doll look. Now we're gonna give her some pink lipstick. Just a fair warning, I've always been really bad at applying lipstick. This isn't even real lipstick. This is just face paint again. There we go. That's pretty good. That honestly turned out a lot better than I thought. Oh no, you have some on her teeth. Now I have to go ahead and give her the stitches. That is not very clean. I thought I could make it a little bit thinner, but I guess not. This is the thinnest I can draw with paint. Now we're just gonna go ahead and scoot on to the other side. And next, we're gonna grab some of these tissues and a little bit of latex. And then I'm gonna put some latex on her cheek right here. Put some of the tissue. More latex, more tissue, even more latex. Maybe one more layer of tissue. <laughs> then we let this dry for a little bit. A few moments later. So now I have to carefully cut open her lip. Don't worry, I have done this four times now, so you have nothing to worry about, Ren. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Very clean. Next, we're gonna get some concealer. I'm supposed to use foundation for this, but you know, I feel like concealer would just work a little bit better. And already, I'm sort of regretting putting this blush and the, the freckles on already. I think that should have been like the last step, if I'm being totally honest. I'm just staying true to the craft, okay guys? I'm gonna go ahead and touch up some of her makeup really quick. Looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of liquid latex inside the scar and grab a little bit of cotton wool. I'm gonna use cotton balls. I think it might be the same thing. I'm not quite sure. Just stick it right in there. And now I'm gonna carefully stitch up her lip. Five Minute Crafts only did one stitch, but I think I'm gonna stitch up half of her face. Okay, that looks about good. Booty boo. And they just kind of left the needle in there. I definitely have mixed feelings about this one in terms of safety, but I definitely think it looks really cool. Okay, guys, and this is how it turned out so far. Now we just have to add some of the final touches. We're giving her blue hair. It only makes sense to give her blue eyebrows. Eyebrows are, well, you know, kind of eyebrows. I de I'm close enough, okay? Next, the blue wig. Gonna put on the hairnet first. Pull this down. Carefully pull it back up, making sure not to get it on the needle. Now it's on your eyes. Oh, God. I messed up. I messed up. Maybe I should have done this one first. First. I'm starting to regret my decisions, guys. Successfully messed up her makeup a little bit, and I have to redo it. Great. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hairnet is in place. So I'm gonna attempt to put on this wig. Guys, to be honest, I've never actually properly put on a wig before. Glad to be the experiment. I'm guessing it's like this, just like that. And now you're me. Twins! I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out a little bit. Are you supposed to brush wigs? I have no idea. So we gotta watch out for this needle. Just for safety reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip of this needle. There you go. Now you don't have a sharp object on your face. And last but not least, guys, the button. I'm gonna carefully just stick this onto your eye. You have to try and Hold it on. They didn't use any adhesive or anything. Does that mm -hmm. stay? Yep. And there we go, guys. This is how it turned out. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments down below. I think it looks nice. Yeah, you think I did a good job? I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. Let's see what the girls think. Oh, sorry to Bransky. <laughs> Bench? You're not Tori. Oh, Tori to Bransky. Luna Ghostess. Come in here. I have something to show you. Yes? I made Red into a living doll. What do you guys think? Ooh. Oh, it's so cool, Robbie. Good job. Very We're all just gonna switch all around. Is your button gonna? <laughs> it looks so good. Wow, it's so creepy. That looks so cool. Do you guys like the stitching? In yes, here? that's what I wanted to look yeah. closer at. The button is not a fan of staying. You see, it seems to fall off whenever she moves at all. <laughs> anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. <laughs> So for this one, I have my friend Luna here. And I thought she would be perfect for this one because she already has black and green hair. She's a perfect embodiment of a monster. By the way, guys, monster is my favorite energy drink. So do with that what, what you will. Anyway, do you want one? Yes. Uh, yes, and cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh yes, it reminds me of the Warp Tour. So I think the 
first thing that we're gonna do is give her some green clothes and green eyes. There we go, a perfect base. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try and replicate this logo onto her face. I'll start from the left and then make my way to the right. I'm sorry if my drawing skills are awful. I'm a crafter, not a drawer. Just so you know, I never claim to be good at drawing. You think the fact that I stare at this monster can every day, I'd really know how this thing is shaped. I think you're doing pretty good for not being a drawer guy. Thanks. Yeah. Perspectives are really weird. We got this, don't worry. Looks good so far. This one's a little crooked. <laughs> a warning would have been cool. Oh, sorry. The last one. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to really fill this in. As someone who does makeup all the time, I'm sure you're gonna cringe how I do makeup. It's close. It's close. Maybe a little bit more. She had it more like over her whole nose. Now I have to go ahead and add the black outline to the monster logo and make it really pop. Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. What do you think? Did I do a good job? I think it looks pretty similar. I think it looks really good. That's fantastic. So it looks like the one thing we're missing is some devil horns. Oh wait. We just take down your palm tree. I got this. <laughs> this is how all the cool kids are doing it now. <laughs> wow. Wait, I did your hair the wrong way. Here, can you shake it? I do it like this. What if we use this to I'll let you put it off? That looks pretty good. It covered up a little bit of the monster logo. But this looks pretty fantastic in my opinion. Opinion. Okay, guys, we're gonna see what Tori Dobransky and our friend Ren think, okay? Come in, guys. No. <laughs> it's midnight, and I woke Tori Dobransky up from a dead sleep. Get in here, Tori Dobransky. Surprise! What do you guys think? God. Did I do a good job? No, uh, not, not too bad. You freehanded it. Oh my god. Wow. freehanded everything. That's wow. why I was like, wow. That's amazing. I think this one, this little doodly do, whatever that is, is a little crooked towards the bottom. But okay. I think I did pretty good besides that. I think so sure. too. Yeah. It really brings out the monster in you. <laughs> okay, guys, everyone ready for a monster crash? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good night, guys.